Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing. Episode number 59 to be exact. I've been working all night, I've uh, been well, working all night behind the scenes right now on a lot of different things and a lot of stuff on the personal front, and I figured, as you can tell, it's early in the morning right now. I don't know if you can tell right now, the camera's just showing you a bunch of white right here, but it's early in the morning, and uh, what better way before I pass out than to actually do some dank web browsing. Of course, it's very therapeutic, and uh, I don't know, just chills me out. That's really all I can say about it, but what are we going to find this episode again? As always, the answer is randomness I, I really i really i really can't answer that for you until i actually do it but uh that being said i'm going to keep the intro short and sweet as always and hopefully i hope that you have an enjoyable episode this week that being said let us go to our first website all right so this is riseup.net and uh it's not a .net site obviously it's going through an onion site i think there's actually a rise up website you can access through the clear web but uh, if I'm looking through it, it's got about 18,000 lists, 6.7 million users. Holy shit, there's a lot of people on this website. Uh, I think it's probably linking both their clear web and their deep web together. But uh, 6.7 fucking million people do this. Now, I'm not going to show you too much of this website, but basically what it is, is it's a batch of leaked emails that have basically come from numerous different parts of the world. And it's very, uh, it's, it's definitely far more mature. It's definitely more... Uh, uh, political heavy if you can look at it. I don't really show you a whole lot of political sites themselves, but uh, here we have alternative agriculture. I think that has something to do with uh, hydroponically growing marijuana or something. Animal rights, anti-racism, political art. Okay, that's interesting. Communities of color, creating community, cooperative economics, cultural change, direct action, disability rights, economic justice, popular education, environment, feminist, Globalization, healthcare, human rights, migration, indigenous rights, labor and unions, legal activism, media activism, nonviolence, peace and disarmament, prisons and police, uh, queer, anarchist and socialist, spirituality and pol 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 politics, student activism and tech activism. That's a, and, and as you can look at it, it's, it's good to have like thousands sometimes, hundreds at least for every category, save for I think disability rights. That's, that's, a, little, that's a little sad. But uh, looking at some of these, okay, basically. From what I've gathered, and I can't really show you too much of it because it does have a lot of leaked information, leaked emails, which I'm not allowed to show you, obviously. But basically, the site itself is really interesting because it has millions of people coming to it. There's multiple people that are actually subbed to each of the... Because, like, this isn't, like, emails you're looking at, which is the interesting part, okay? So, for example, when one... Not, it's not actually opening up, unfortunately, here. I'm going to try opening up, like, something else, like a bunch of them, to see if it loads a little bit faster. But basically, from what I've actually gathered into it in my little analysis, I don't know why it's not loading up. I should, okay, wait, here, it loaded up really quickly, actually. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so, for example, we're in popular education, right? Now, when I said... When popular education came out with 814, we're talking 814 like pe like lists that people have made right and these lists are from all over the world it seems all right you got freaking people in like israel like israel palestine advocacies like delegations and y you got like houston like philadelphia like even state by state cases um you've got places in like europe and italy and all that kind of stuff um france is is, is tossed into there you, you got a well france and italy it's fuck it god damn it <laughs> you have places from asia uh multiple parts of the world all right and basically so for example if you click on like the team colors newsletter all right uh if you go far into it basically it'll tell you that team colors is a collective engaged in militant research to provide strategic analysis for the intervention in everyday life Purposes to explore. Oh, that's interesting. Everyday resistance, mutual aid, the imposition of work, social. Re okay, that's it's pretty heavy, man. Warm. They got like their own. Oh wow, that's old school, dude. MySpace.com. MySpace is still a thing, but shit, man. Hold on, let me. They have WarMachines.info. Actually, I'm gonna click on it just just because I'm gonna look at it through my through my phone right now, just because I don't want any of the information coming out. Usually, you know what I mean. Let me just look at it. Let me see if the site is still active, to be brutally honest. Uh, wait, warm machine dot. Yeah, no, warm. Oh, wait, no, I spelled it wrong. Fucking idiot, honestly. Warm machines dot info. Oh, wow, they're actually a real thing. They're team colors. It's like they're actual legit shit going on. Uh, but basically, what team, uh, what they have is basically 
you can actually go into their shared documents. This is all the stuff they leak out. First of all, I really would advise, you know, people not like, I'm just showing this stuff to you guys, but basically what these people have done is they've actually leaked the private information of people like this. So for example, you know, they have shared documents. You can subscribe to feeds and unsubscribe and whatnot. And the thing is, this stuff is actually available from what I can gather. Like here, hold on. If I go to my phone right now, if I go to riseup.net right now, I'm sure this stuff, they've actually made it completely public. This is like the WikiLeaks for these kind of people. That's actually, wow, that's actually hilarious. Wait, what is this? Rise Up, okay, they have a different, okay, wow, that's weird. They have a different website for the phone version, like, not the phone, but like the clear web version versus this version. That's interesting. Rise Up provides online communication tools for people and groups working on liberatory, liber liberatory social change. We are prone to create democratic alternatives and practice self-determination by controlling our own means of secure. That's weird, okay? Okay, so wait, hold on, hold on. Now from what I'm gathering over here, I, I don't want to make any, like, giant claim over here. Don't take my word for it. But what I'm gathering out of it is basically these people have created sort of their own media outlet <laughs> or they're directly... Re it's basically like the... I guess it's kind of like the YouTube of private like or just documentation and emails in general that's that's actually really interesting i don't i don't really know what to think about it. it's kind of weird how i haven't really focused on this yet considering the crazy amount of traffic it actually gets like shit eighteen thousand lists that's a lot my god but there's a lot of people over here they even got like their own like fucking donation page going on too to keep their servers afloat which i I, I'm pretty sure they need a lot of bandwidth to keep all of this shit up there, so they must be getting some crazy amount of donations going in. Yeah, they actually got, like, a full-on donation page up here, too. That's fucking crazy. So, yeah, their deep website is actually different than their clear website, which is, of course, to be expected, but... <laughs> shit! My god, they got Rise Up Red, Rise Up Black. It's... That's interesting. It's a very... It's an anonymous... Like document sharing service for people who want social change all right well it's like it's like social justice warrior power gone like mad wow it's actually you know to be honest i support it people are just they're they're sharing information which is always a plus in their own little circle you know what i mean for the world to see um i'm gonna leave this though there's not too much to talk about it uh this is riseup.net they both have a clear web version and a deep web version, and both of them are obviously different. I think the deep web version has all the crazy, kooky lists that you can sub to, and the clear web version is just, it's, it's there. So, uh, that's an interesting site, actually. This deep web episode is definitely a lot more somber than what we've had before, let me be honest. Compared to last week's episode, whoo, are we in a much better place with this. Anyways, we're going to go to something else. All right, so uh, as we're going to continue, one of the things that we have to talk about, and some a lot of people are mentioning over here, is Ramp Shop, okay? Russian Marketplace or something like that that has actually just completely come up, and it's almost taken over. Like, there are sites that are popping up constantly. And uh, I'm going to go in. First of all, let me take my headphones off. I can't believe I haven't taken them off yet. My God. Whew! Anyways, but back to the whole thing is uh, this has actually been a major thing that has been happening recently with... Um, with the deep web so basically ramp shop i've come across this tons of times i've just never done a video on it because it's just like any uh, i've never covered it because it's just like any other place to buy shit at so i'm gonna open up a couple of these i'm gonna open up like one the sopranos you know fixed price and team atros okay so basically what it is is just a uh, russian sort of marketplace russian anonymous marketplace where anybody can actually create a page i think and just sell shit whatever they want so of course it's all in a it's all in Cyrillic and I cannot read it. I don't I don't speak Russian, obviously. But basically, this person's selling blue Mitsubishi MD MDMA pills. <laughs> Fucking Mitsubishi pills. What the fuck? Louis Vuitton. What is that? Louis Vuitton Kush? Like, what the fuck? Is that a wallet? Or, like, what the fuck are these selling it for? I think it's about 15,000, uh, what is it? Like, fucking, I think it's, uh, what, the Russian currency? It's rubles, as far as I know, right? What are they selling in rubles and shit? Like, actually, prices is rubles. But that's just one of the many, uh, obviously, obvious shops you can go to. The other ones, they're, they're selling, and of course, it's a very popular place to go and sell, apparently. It's, I, I guess it's backed, from what I can gather. I think this person's selling, like, marijuana. I can't really tell with the small price over there. This person, this person's selling lines of fucking cocaine. Holy shit. And they're selling, like, hearts, which I'm sure is probably laced with some crazy-ass, like, 
Indian fucking LSD shit that is completely going to leave you tripping. I don't know. Uh, he's got pictures of the sun. All right. So apparently that's probably the kind of dope that Solaire really enjoys. I, I think going over here, this is, it's, it's like, it, again, it's mostly just drugs. Like that's all it is. Like it, there's 30 sites. Like if you go back to the Harry bot right over here. Okay. There's like 30 sites and I guarantee like star drugs, fucking cool spot. Like even the sites that don't seem like they're drugs, like fucking let's go to, let's go to uh dream liner for fuck's sake or OSHA. I don't know whatever the fuck it is. We'll go into dream line. It, it's fucking drugs. Okay. Like holy shit. Everyone just sells drugs on this place. Like, go over here. Fuck it. Fucking dope. All right. Like look at high quality. It seems HQ. I mean, I'm glad this guy didn't say 4k dope. You know what I mean? Like it's literally just sites and sites of people selling drugs and I don't really, I never covered it because that's all I've really gotten out of it. I've never seen an RAMP shop personally where they're not selling dope. Like everyone sells dope on this place. Hell, if I go to like Chap A, whatever the fuck it's called, fixed price. Okay, apparently this person's selling bikes or something. I can't read like bikes and animals and shit like that. Okay, it's fucking, it's crazy. Hell, if I go back to the RAMP shop right over here, I think I'm going to find... Yeah, you can literally create, like, your own anonymous marketplace. It's just a place for you to create market. Like, it's just a place where you make make shit. So I guess it's the only one that doesn't sell drugs, I think. Let's go to Pop Gun Kelly. I swear, if this one doesn't sell guns and it sells drugs, I'm going to be so fucking triggered. It sells drugs. It's fucking... It's, it's, it's literally drugs. It's, it's all it is. Fucking, like, is that salmon or is that dope? I don't know. It's drugs, okay? They're selling hash. No, that's crystal meth. Kids, okay? he's fucking he's selling crystal. All right, it's it's all drugs. That's all. It's all. It's all this site is. It's just drugs. You know, I guess if you want drugs, okay, go to the RAMP shops. Not that you should be buying drugs. It's illegal, but that's all it is. Literally, thirty sites have been indexed. Okay, you go back, thirty fucking sites have been indexed, and they're all drugs. That's all. It is. It's all drugs. That's it. It's dope. Dope for days. <laughs> you know. So uh, that's all the RAMP shops. Typically when you find them, they're always getting indexed. They always come up in these bots. And most of the time, they're always selling dope. You know what I mean? Always, always the dope fiends on this place. <laughs> but uh, that's all That's all it really is. There's not much I can tell you guys about it. I mean, RAMP, drugs, 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 drugs. That's it, dope. They're selling dope. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 that's all it is. But, uh. I think I've said enough. I think I said my piece. <laughs> We're going to go to something else. Uh, something less drug related. All right. Something where uh, we don't have to deal with too much. Wow. This episode has gotten really fucking dank. We looked at so many drugs, uh, dr drug stores. The online pharmacy for MDMA and crystal meth. Illegal narcotics, by the way. Let's go to the next thing. Even the site that's called Best Buy with the motherfucking Best Buy tag logo is selling dope. And muffins. Or I think those are muffins. And a meme. For almost 500 rubles. Fuck, dude. I swear, man. It's... <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Our deep web video of the week. Camera, please don't fuck with me. Alright, we gotta... We gotta... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our deep web video of the week. This is 3 minutes and 27 seconds long. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lengthy deep web video. Holy shit, am I excited, actually, because usually they're only like fucking 45 seconds long. Now we get a lengthy video. So let's actually get to uh, watching this video real quick. Uh, it's going to take us a while to actually analyze it, I would hope, because it is a longer video. But let's actually hit play and see. Okay, that's a lot of... I can see it's going to be an edgy art project. It's got something... What the fuck is this? Okay, it's obviously got voiceover in reverse, so we're gonna see if we can reverse the voiceover and listen to it. Okay, so they're covering... Is this Morse code? Yeah, we're just- it's just random shots, but it's- it's like- it's edited in a way where it looks like shit, you know what I mean? Like, they actually edited it to make it look shit. This is pretty impressive. Oh, that fucking freaked me out for a second, dude. <sighs> Fuck, dude. They got some Clorox on there? What the fuck, dude? I'm covering my face because I don't want fucking screamers. That's a, that's a foot. That's a doll foot, dude. That's a safe. 
Whatever, man. The fuck is that? It's a face in the corner. Jesus, man. What the fuck am I looking at? Holy shit. What are we in a favela? What the fuck is this person saying in the back? I need to hear this shit, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go into Premiere and reverse this footage. Okay, we're definitely- Okay, we got a statue now. We got what appears to be fucking handles for something? This was obviously filmed in a location, but they actually edited it, like they changed the frame rates for certain footage, they gave it the stop motion look. It literally is intentionally looking shit. Like, this is obviously a plugin for a film that they've just added on top through some other editing software they have. What the fuck, dude? Okay, that was something that popped up on the corner. We'll definitely look into that. Yeah, this is definitely faked, edited in, like, film grain and, like, you know, footage. But yeah, we're, like, 215 into it. Uh, now the footage is starting to corrupt. Okay, you're starting to see a lot of corruption going on. You've got, yeah, there's there's corruption that it's actually added into the video. Like, that's the thing. Like, they actually sat and cut it together, which is a really interesting thing. Okay, I think I might need to censor that. I think I saw something get, that's another number. That's another number we'll look at, okay. All right, that's fucking... It's a forest, okay. It's another forest, dude. What the fuck is this? Oh, god damn it! I hate dolls. Okay, what the fuck is that now? Is that like the fucking Eiffel Tower, like, wireframe? Okay. Yeah, this shit, it's literally just like cut together in like a weird, like, fucking manner. Like, it's so... Yeah, now you got like this bowl lens effect and you got the, you got the poster eyes going on. What in the fuck am I looking at? Like, honest to god. There's so much going on. Okay, it's fucking gore, Jesus Christ. It's just dead people at this point. What is this? Belief is settled. Yeah, fuck. The, you know, I never got a screamer before, but fucking now I get the screamer. Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. I hate when I get a screamer tossed in, dude. All right, give me a second. I'm going to put this into Premiere real quick. All right, here we are with the uh, analysis segment over here. We're going to look through it real quick. Uh, I think I know exactly what to look through. So it's giving me a bunch of uh, these digits over here. It's giving me this phrase, but it's obviously completely nonsensical, really, or it's just a bunch of jar garbled shit. Over here, I got what appears to be Morse code. So if anybody can translate it in the comments, that'd be very much appreciated. It's also got hexadecimal, or it seems like. No, it's not hexadecimal, not at all. All right, well, yeah, 6 e two zero. Yeah, well... It's interesting, actually. It's got binary. It's got, wow, it's got almost every, it's got different, it's like they're passing on a message in almost as many fashions it's giving here. Yeah, hex, uh, you got Morse. I can't read fucking Morse. If somebody else could read Morse, that'd be very much appreciated. But yeah, it's giving us binary, it's giving us like 6F, fucking, it's crazy. It's crazy the amount of shit it's giving. <laughs> it's giving the octal and everything. It's fucking interesting. Going forward, it's just, it's the same thing, except it's gone through a vertical sync filter. You go through over here, there's nothing interesting, like, tossed over here, so we're not going to look too terribly, okay, that's fucking weird, dude, that's scary, that's a doll, man. Freaks me the fuck out right there, honestly. Okay. There's also, like, specific fucking, yeah, like, right over here, 504-952-54 shows up. Yeah, fuck that face, dude. Fuck that face. What the fuck? Oh, look at that. Fucking bleach. Pass it over, man. Uh, Yeah, there's not much else I want to look at. The numbers popped up here and there. There was some, you know, numbers in the beginning. What I'm most interested in, actually, is just... Uh, let me go over here and just unlink this real quick. Let me actually go to the speed right here, and let me reverse the speed real quick. So let it render the files real quick. So let me mute the track and let me solo out this real quick. Okay, yeah, now we can hear it.
an important businessman. It's a Japanese person they're mentioning if you listen very closely. It's so impossible to hear because there's so much background. Most likely. You know, just listen to it. Numbers. It's the hex, it's the, it's the numbers in the beginning. He was going home to see his wife and daughter, but now he's in a body bag. Holy fuck, what are we gonna cross? It's all the anal analysis I can really give, guys. I mean, there's not much else I can say. Fuck. It's so weird. He was going home to his wife and daughter in a body bag. It's like hearing the weirdest creepypasta ever. Were those numbers coordinates? Were they longitude and latitude? Was the fucking Morse code a message of like, what the fuck was that, dude? Wait a minute, forest. Oh, fuck. Aokigara forest. Wait, did he end up killing himself? That's all I can gather out of it, actually, because the whole forest thing? Wait a minute. Holy fuck. Yeah, guys. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of Forrest being the one thing, guys. Did he go out into the forest and off himself? Did we just come across a fucking deep web actual suicide story of fucking creepypasta? Holy fuck, my mind is going to the worst possible scenarios. I really hope that's not the case, dude. I really fucking hope that isn't the case. But Jesus Christ, the more and more I think about it, the more and more it seems like it is the case. Well, that's our analysis. That was fucking dark. Holy shit. All I can really ask you is what do you think about this whole video? Let me know in the comments below. This is the longest video we've had. The most interesting one, really. In a while. Okay. All right. This video has gone on far too long as it is. But uh, apparently it seems like this Japanese businessman may have killed himself. I don't know. Whatever narration was going on was too fucked up by the background audio anyways. The voice wasn't clear enough. But shit freaky fuck man i jesus christ all right we're done with this video here we're done analyzing it man fuck that was uh that was interesting that was really interesting i hope this man didn't kill himself i really hope this man didn't jesus christ that being said we're gonna end this video over here fuck we're, we're done with this let's let's back out jeez Oh boy, Psychic Insights, a web blog about psychic talents and spiritual insights. I love how the first thing is 20 tell psychic predictions come true. This was actually last updated September 2nd, 2012. Like fucking when the world was going to end, motherfucker. Remember that? There will be two very violent earthquakes in the United States. Oh yeah? And yeah, no, I, I, in Southern California? Probably because they're on the fucking what? San Andreas Fault? No shit. That was going to happen at one point, isn't it? Like... Very large disaster will hit the country, causing major disruptions in electric, food, and fresh water in some parts of the country. Well, yeah, it's apparently going to be like, what? Isn't the San Andreas Fault basically, like, going to be the biggest natural disaster anyways? Like, aside from, um, like, Yellowstone? Like, like the super volcano, basically, by Mount St. Helens? I think. I'm not exactly sure on that. But uh, over here, though, like the economy will take a downturn. Uh, you'll uh, August increase a low price of three dollars and fifty one cents a gallon to a high of three point eight dollars a gallon. Your gas is fucking expensive. That's no no shocker, motherfucker. 
All right, that's an expected thing to happen. Major hurricanes will last. A mysterious illness will strike parts of the country and many people will become infected. Wait a minute, dude. This is it's kind of, it's kind of red flaggish right here. You know what I mean? It's kind of kind of red flaggish. I feel like, what, what the fuck are you guys thinking of, man? Call Pernal and find out. Christinet? What? They're using clairvoyance to figure out, like, hurricanes and, like major disasters and zombie viruses what the fuck all right let me see this so predictions by pernell there will be very violent there will be two very violent earthquakes in the united states all right all right the world will not end okay so i guess that prediction came out true a very large disaster will hit this country causing major disruptions in electric food and fresh water all right summer will be not that was apparently on 2012 dude i've not i've I've seen one of these things not happen, which is the fucking December 21st, 2012 shit. Summer will be nothing short of a nightmare. Massive fires will be a major problem. A mysterious illness will strike parts of the countries. There will be a lot of voter fraud in the November elections. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? It's like everything. Fucking political, zombies, like everything is covered. Four major hurricanes... And the economy will take another downturn. This is like the most depressing shit to read, dude. There's like fucking no, no actual, oh, I got the anime here. There's like no actual fucking positive information being given other than the world won't fucking end. But even if the world doesn't end, dude, you still got all this other shit to worry about, man. Life sucks. Then you go to the 2011 psychic predictions that have come true. There will be a major train derailment in the U.S. Okay, well, like, doesn't that, doesn't that actually like happen? Like, once a year, actually. Like, there's a lot of trains that go in the U.S. I'm sure there's derailment that happens. A major scandal will rock at the White House. Okay, uh, what, what is that? Energy Department paid $1 million to Lazard Limited, a heavyweight Democratic donor. Actually, I, I don't remember this at all, to be honest. I think it was either, like, dubbed down. A terrorist threat will be made for California, either San Francisco or Los Angeles. Okay, all right. L.A. arson probe. Suspect arrested in string of fires. Officials said the person of interest detained early Monday in connection with a string of more than 50 deliberately set fires that have been arrested and is expected to be booked on arson charges later in the afternoon. No new arsons have been recorded and since the subject was taken, but police stress the investigation is ongoing. The fires have cost $2 million in damages. Okay, that's like a lot though, but in the grand scheme of things, like $2 million is like fucking chump change, you know, in terms for the government, right? Like... I feel I feel like these are like fucking shots in the dark kind of. But anyways, going on, dude. Additionally, okay, Purnell making more fucking psychic psychic predictions. Officials assess damages in Michigan. Holy fuck! All of this stuff always happens in America. Okay, like I'm sorry, man. Like American viewers, okay, my heart goes out to you guys. All these psychic predictions, dude. Apparently, you guys are like fucked. Okay, like you, you just fucked. That's that's apparently what I'm getting at. I'm sorry, guys. Like, we're pr we're pretty open in Canada over here. Like, there there's a lot of open land. You just fucking move here, man. Apparently, Canada's free from this shit, dude. Like straight up, everything bad has to happen. Like, remember those like documents we found where like you fucking God talks to people and it's like shit's gonna happen in Miami, Los Angeles, New York, Dallas, fucking Houston. Apparently everything happens over here dude oh pernell dove's new book by the way order a copy oh well fuck me in the ass and bend me sideways allow me to get it oh sorry 404 well i was i was definitely gonna buy your book but un unfortunately I, I just fucking can't actually wait let me look at the let me actually look for pernell to be honest maybe, maybe the maybe the site has a uh, has some url oh can't you can't do fuck all on that site by the way that's uh that's that's something okay you can't even fucking search all right, so apparently I can't buy your book, Pernell Dove. All right, is it, wait, am I a psychic? How can I develop my own psychic abilities? What is a clairvoyant? Are angels real? How do people see auras? Well, they, they use they use they use uh, they use fucking aura glasses. You, you didn't fucking know? You, you didn't know? I mean, come on, step with the times. Or just some of the questions that the psychic realm will help read. Oh, that's the name of the book. Okay, Doctor Penny Dove. You're a doctor. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me look that, oh wait, no, same fucking site, okay. Alright, same site. Wait, oh, Dr. Penny Dove has an associate or arts degree, okay. Graduated Phi Theta Cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
totally caught me off guard. <laughs> Fucking Kappa, dude. A Bachelor of Science degree, a Master's of Religion, and a Doctor of Metaphysics. Holy fuck. Actually, met Metaphysics, dude. Yeah. Great A, dude. She has received numerous awards for her poetry, writing, and website design. She's also received the Congressional National Leader. Holy fuck, dude. You know, Penny Duff, you're, you're pr pr pretty there. You know, you, you got it. Now, she's known as Purnell. She's a psychic, spirit, and tarot card reader, medical intuitive, whatever the fuck that is, and paranormal investigator. Readings by phone and by appointment only. Her website is crystalnet.com. Wait, let me let me open that up real quick. Crystal Net. Uh, oh wait, she's got more. She's she's the only one fucking making these predictions, dude. Nobody else is even close to any fucking. Holy shit! Psychic see light, not darkness. Enter into a realm of light, internationally known, tested by a former NASA sci former fucking NASA scientist, not actively working. The readings cost forty dollars for fifteen minutes. This is an old site, dude. This is an old fucking site, bro. Old site, dude. What? This is actually fucking crazy. We don't predict pregnancies or the sex of a child. I love how that was, like, so asked from them that they actually had to post it, too. That's crazy. We reserve the right to refuse clients who are belligerent, abusive, non-paying, harassing, or use appropriate language or personal threats. Well, obviously. I mean, that's fucking stupid. Your psychic consultation is subject to your own personal inter physical wait your own personal interpretation. Okay, all right. Well, that's that's fair over there. They even got a fan club. Yeah, dude, they got they got multiple books over here. Doctor Penny Love is there, man. And Doctor Penny Love seems to know her shit. You know what I mean? Like crazy, dude. Yeah, Doctor Penny Love's been fucking writing this blog forever. What is it? She's apparently like the best weather product weather expert in the world, dude. She she predicts the weather better than a fucking weatherman does, dude. Well, you know, the, the the meteorologists out there, man. She, she, she's got it. You know what I mean? That's psychic insights, man. You know, from what I learned about the site is America's fucked. Okay, it's pretty, you guys are pretty much fucked is, is, what, is what I learned from this shit half the time, too. Like, apparently Mother Nature just has no chill towards you guys down in the States. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm sorry for that. You know what I mean? I, I will give my right nut to make things better for you guys, honestly speaking here. But uh, Canada's always open. Come up north, you know what I mean? Like, just, just fucking get away from it all. Because as Dr. Penny says, you're fucked. Okay? Like, you know, you're going to split that building wide open. That's <laughs> what I've learned, dude. Apparently she's NASA tested, dude. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> like, we're going to go to another site. All right, I, I've, I've, uh, I've, had my, I've had my fun. All right, this is interesting. This is Cubo CC, the post advertising agency, and I don't really know what to say about this post advertising agency. First time I've ever heard terminology like that. What do they mean by post advertising agency? It's, I mean, it's, is, are they going to advertise after you die? I, I have no fucking idea. But basically, they're organized in three places: New York City, Sao Paulo, and Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. I hope I pronounced that right. Fuck. Uh, Brazil, Brazil, and the USA. So they, they got they got two branches going on. They they got an American number. They got they got two Braz Brazilian numbers, and uh, well, they're a Cubo CC, the Post Advertising Agency. It's so weird because that's all their site is. It's actually like I've been looking at the site for like fucking three minutes now. I just wonder what the fuck is it like Cubo CC, the Post Advertising Agency. Like what do they do? They got a picture of a cross. So it looks like it's a fucking square coffin. You know what I mean? It's like SpongeBob's getting fucking buried right now, dude. It's like, what? Well, what the hell do they mean by the post advertising agency? Like, what? What the hell? Here we go. Let me let me Google this up real quick. I don't like googling up on the uh, actual thing over here because it, it it can get really wonky. You never know what the fuck you come across sometimes. But like, I have no idea. It's like we like they literally say. We deliver aggressive entrepreneurship ideas, outstanding, but it's like, where the fuck do you access that on the website? Like, where the fuck is it accessed? I don't understand. They got an email. You know, they, they got the email. Let me tell you that much. View page source. Let me see this. Yeah, here we go. They got like a description, but like you cannot read the description. See, it's like, we deliver aggressive entrepreneurship idea oh my fucking god i just saw some dude like literally shake his dick for some reason holy fucking shit dude that was scary it's got like vr samsung what in the fuck oh it's like okay so it's not actually loading up on the like if you go to the page it's got like a million different fucking things going on 
Like you see, it's just not loading up on the clear website, which is like really interesting. So apparently they do almost everything. We deliver aggressive entrepreneurship ideas, outstanding communication work, and stretching the limits of technology. Meanwhile, pioneering some of the world's most breakthrough storytelling innovations. Okay, so apparently they do some very edgy advertising adver campaigns. But why the fuck was this referenced anywhere on the deep web? Like I, I almost feel because a site doesn't work on the browser, even though the browser is up to date, it's actually like, it's got all the plugins going on it. At the same time, it's like... What the fuck was this linked anyways like what what it, is this part of a post advert like are, are you guys making a fucking r cubo cc like what the fuck's going on here that's what i'm confused about i feel like i should email someone over here but like you guys got a weird fucking reference like the logo freaks me out like they got the fucking cross which is like that's that's what's messing me up like if if the if the shit hadn't popped up on my phone i would have been i would have been completely blinded but it's like some of the stuff they've shown is like, you know, you got to see the Samsung Gear VR, and now it's like, what? Like, what am I looking at? You know what I mean? Like, why is this even referenced? Like, what's going on? I feel like there is something big. Something big is brewing, you know? And uh, unfortunately, we won't know because it's post, I don't know, post advertising agency. Like, such a weird descriptor, honestly. But uh, there's not much to go off on it. It's an interesting find. I think personally, but we're gonna we're gonna back out and go to something else, okay? <laughs> this is this has been a rather interesting view, but it's not the page is not loading up for some reason. Hell, inspecting the element. Wait, ah, uh, inspecting the element and doing shit. Not at all. Let's go to something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a beginner's friendly, comprehensive guide to installing and using a safer operating system, version 1.0.2, apparently. Uh, but basically, uh, this week, I, I, I hopefully will be releasing the, the cubes guide, uh, you know, basically the last uh, guide that I released, the not to use Windows on the deep web. It, it has been outdated from what I've been told, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover it again. But basically, this is sort of the uh, long version, the very well-written version, basically created by people to using a safe anonymous operating system. Now, basically what Cubes is, is that a very security-oriented OS? But uh, these people actually will tell you how to start all the way from Chapter 1 down to Chapter f uh, chapter 5, and it's actually very well handled. So these people will tell you how to set up Debian, which is a flavor of Linux, Manual download verification of DB, how to how to actually verify the MD5 checksums, manual download verification even on OS X or Ubuntu, installing the host OS, choosing installation method, installing it on an encrypted USB flash drive, pretty important, installing the OS on an encrypted internal hard drive partition with a USB flash drive boot key. That's actually really that's actually really nice. We'll open some of that up too. We'll look through the Debian install. We'll look through some of it. Final Debian tweaks and Wanix install using Wanix securely and anonymously. Basically, they go into almost every single detail and they go into even encrypting all of your stuff, which by the way, while I browse the deep web, I do run it through a separate partition, encrypted partition, not because necessarily there's shit to hide, but just because I do like keeping it in its own contained section, you know what I mean? But uh, looking into it, they'll teach you exactly. It's very, very well made, actually. Very, you know, these guides are incredibly easy to follow. But uh, I'm gonna make a video on it too. I'm gonna try focusing on it. Hopefully, I will do a guide justice as much as these people really have done. They're focusing on it really hardcore. They're telling you uh, exactly where to start, ensuring that you have a clean and secure operating system. They're not telling you to actually use something like Tails or something like Cubes. You know, something that's already been. Something that's already exists pre-packaged. They're actually telling you straight up how to take a regular flavor of Linux, a very secure flavor of Linux, by the way. I've used Debian uh, not as much, but I have touched Debian. I do enjoy Debian a lot. I think if I had to really pick a uh, you know Linux distro, I, I would go Debian. I did enjoy it at my time, but you, at this point, I just use Ubuntu if I have to use Linux, uh, which isn't terribly too often. But basically, if, well, right now I am using Ubuntu to browse a deep web over here. And I have used some of the methods over here. I have, you know, encrypted as much as I can. This is all running encrypted. This is all running in its own sandbox little environment, which is definitely something I'm going, uh, is definitely something I do go for. But they're telling you basically how to install it on your computer, how to download Debian, how to do all of this shit. They, they basically have guided you through all of, like, the basics essentially hell if you if you go through all of this literally they are covering everything you cannot screw this up with documentation done this well and these are people you know on this site that are really focusing to uh keep the deep web easy to use efficient to use and in a way 
basically allow more people to access it in a more safer manner this is this is how you should be browsing the deep web essentially if you're really paranoid about all the crazy shit that can happen to it um if you're not experienced at all i guarantee you looking over this guide people can follow through with it pretty easily i'm just saying that honestly um uh, even if you're not don't 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 hate yourself uh hopefully i'll teach you guys so i'm not going to teach you this method i'm just going to go through cubes just because uh, I'd rather touch upon something that we've discovered already rather than teaching you the very nude way. I might I might do it later, I don't know. But uh, of course, you can always download the guide. They have a clear net address as well. You can download the GPG verification signature to make sure you're on the right place and you're touch upon the right thing. Alongside that, they, they've really covered everything. They've actually taught you how to go about tweaking things. Holy shit, this has done really well. My god, they have covered everything. I gotta, I gotta give these people props, man. They've really covered the whole thing. They're like wow this is actually really easy to follow follow through very very easy to follow actually really easy you know basically just telling you what to write everything R wow you can actually just copy paste this shit too just download the pdfs and you're fucking good to go so congratulations man this is actually a really well-made thing now of course some of these chapters are incredibly long but uh <laughs> You know, th that's because they're touching upon every single thing for anybody that's using it. Guaranteed, if you have, uh, you know, experience in the Linux uh, environment, you, you should be able to blast through these pretty easily. If, you, if you've been around the command shell long enough, uh, you should know how to fuck around with the terminal at this point. Uh, I know people even fucking around with their Macs. Power users on the Mac really know some shell commands to an extent. Uh, they're, they're pretty interconnected, you know, here and there, but... Essentially, this stuff pretty much works itself. They're teaching how to use a Tor browser, using a fucking password manager, IRC and XChat, even using an instant messenger, uh, two types basically, internet relay chat and just regular instant messengers, encrypted email even, for God's sakes, malware mitigation, which if you have any question, definitely head over to this site. This, this is definitely filling you in on almost everything. And they're very comprehensive. July 2016 is when it was last updated. So so the people behind this, the community behind this is actually updating it to the point where they're constantly feeding this information down to people and everyone, you know, hopefully gets filled in. So if you ever have any questions, definitely go to a site like this. I'll try to actually bring their uh, deep web link and actually post it. It's not like there's anything illegal on the site. So for a lot of people who want to browse it in the most secure fashion possible I, I i don't think there's a better uh area than over here so hey you know we learned something today and is something that wasn't really bad is something that'll help people who actually want to explore the deep web and please don't be scared of it i've already made the video on it please don't be scared of it uh browse it go through this method even it's it'll definitely keep you secure i i i i, I don't want to guarantee on it but <laughs> i'll give a very very good solid seal of approval whatever that is worth Though I'm going to end this little analysis, I think I've touched upon it far enough, we're going to go to something else. This was a very interesting website, actually. I'm glad we, we came across this, because this is very comprehensive, very well done. Congratulations, guys, whoever uh, did it. You just don't even have a name I can really reference, unfortunately, but congratulations, guys. Congratulations, guys and gals who are behind this shit. Good work, guys. Good work and gals. Let's uh, cut out of this and... Uh, Go to something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this week's Deep Web episode. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I'm going to keep this after a short and sweet. I've This is about two and a half hours into this recording session lately, ladies and gentlemen. I have browsed a whole lot, actually, today. Well, it was a whole lot of dead air, really. But uh, the websites we have seen today have been interesting, okay? Um... You know, they, they've definitely been way more lighthearted than last week's episode, except for the fucking video. Holy shit. What the, what the fuck was that all about? My God, that was... That's a mind fuck. Cause that, that, that is a brain melter. But uh, I'm going to end this over here. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to be done with this. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish off. Uh, all I can really say is thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, but I'm going to end this. This is Deep Web Episode 59. Hope you have a brilliant Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing week. And hopefully... I will try to get that Cubes video out, among other videos. This is me, Mudahar, and I actually need to go to sleep now. Holy shit. My God. Fuck. At least I'm calm now. I'm out.